for us, one of the, our big complaints has been the support in training. You know, we've had to go out and find people like MSF and TAC to come and help us train our community people, but we're really not getting support for training our nurses. You know, we have to fight every time to get people on ARB management training, to get people on VCT training. You know, it's a bit of a potluck, we just have to start the system and hope that the system works. Yeah. In terms of HIV AIDS spending, it has improved. So that's one of the successes that we can say that the department has in the Eastern Cape started to spend HIV AIDS grant. Today we got our first PCRs back from the, the qualitative PCR for the infants. So we know now that at least the system works. As soon as we've got some critical mass, as soon as we've got 100 patients or whatever, or 200 patients on ALDs, then hopefully the support will be easier. But it's quite exciting because... It's also been given us more money, it's been able to spend more money. At least now we can start these little ones as well. So you reckon it's sustainable? It's going to be a challenge. This is the rural eastern camp, but um, I think it's sustainable because people are motivated and uh, they're very enthusiastic. Their skill levels are not always high. We can build capacity in people, and we can motivate. And if there are people here who want to see it maintained, I think we can we can maintain it. I mean, in our government, if we can just help us do that, I'm sure that will, everything can run smooth. You know, we've obviously struggled a little bit. I'm having just basic things like we were without water for a good three months of water and water generally every now and then we don't, you know, so things like that make a little tricky. Everything, well, I'm sure it's, it is okay. If you want, like your job, you forget about any other thing, you become indulging your work. Yes. Then that way, and after that, you go to the beach. Yes. <laughs> the outdoors life here is amazing. Um, we are here in Lusikisiki as part of Pondoland. Pondoland is known as one of the biodiversity hotspots because we've got 70 different endemic plant species in this area. Um, we've got huge biodiversity in groups of reptiles, amphibians, mammals, insects, and that attracted me to this area. You know, the nat natural environment, <laughs> the beauty of it all. And this is a tropical area, everything is there for poles, mangoes when they are in season. And then obviously out here every weekend you can go down to the Lagula or to Ndumi, that's what we do on the weekends. If you don't have to, if you don't get bush feet, I'm going to go into his lungs and watch a film or something. But otherwise, yeah, so I mean, the life out here is great. So, anybody who is far away from this country, uh, I mean, from this district of Mkanduli, must not feel that, okay, he's going to be far from home, because we've got sea. Uh, we've got, uh, we're very much along the coast. To those people that want a fresh air, that is not polluted, once they see, want to some, there's a little bit of some forest, there's some things that can attract people in this side. Just come and see for yourself. Actually, having been there, I think that just going to a bombo, uh, Bethesda Hospital, that sort of started my interest in rural medicine. Before that, I mean, you, you don't really think about it. We might not have the big five, but when I came to Lusikisiki, I found some snakes in my garden and I kept them for some time just to have something. And now I'm known as the snake man with 20 snakes in my house. Huge! <laughs> Hoisted to the sky, man. And uh, people of this people uh, of this place, nice and kind. What body? How are you? Fine and you? Okay. The community and the people with whom we are working, the management, yeah. are so you know close. So it's it's quite easy. I love this. You threw me. One day I'll talk to you. But I'm not nice in English, but I'm nice to you. The best thing about it is the people. We deal with such amazing people. Like I can't actually imagine doing the same program in, in a city. Because here yeah, the people are so involved, I mean, we know all of them personally, or 150 of them, and they listen. Can you see? Yes. What is your name? My name is Sobelati. Where do you live? 
Joe Slava. Joe Slava? Yes. Do you like it there? Yes. I mean, they're just really lovely people and they really get involved and so you actually form a really cool relationship with the people, which I think is a big thing. I'm a simple I am speaking Corsa. I like Corsa and I like you too, man. Salud, ciao, Everybody else is like really calm and chill, even though you're running around with you. <laughs> Nobody seems to notice too much. Potential. That's the buzzword here in the, in the rural Eastern Cape. We're talking about potential and the chance to upbuild and upskill people and improve services. I've told the nurses my motto is continuous improvement. So really there's no rural about it. It's really in the mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not only the combination of work and adventure, uh, but I think it is also uh, the way in which we stay in life. If you see that the, the stump at the entrance of the hospital, in the hospital is about at least the first Yeah. And it is actually, this is what for strong motivation has been all the time. And of course one of the huge advantages of rural medicine is you can come home with tea and lunch and be with your family. But there are sometimes mosquitoes and that's why it's not looking so good. <laughs> you sometimes feel like you're working from home yeah. in, in the good sense of it, everything that that entails. Yeah, of course it can be bad, but it's a fantastic blessing and opportunity. There are lots of advantages of rural medicine. People think, oh yeah, out in the sticks, but lots of good things. <laughs> He's one of the best. Yes. Oh, we are nurses of the Tulele Hospital. Haven't finished what you are doing there in the Stellenbosch University. Please come, guys. We need doctors here. You, you have seen the buildings. We need doctors here. Please. Especially young doctors <laughs> like you. <laughs> <laughs> To you guys and girls. We need staff more than anything else. Please do come. Just give us a hand. Together we can make it. With you joining us, guys, really we're going to take up services. Yeah, even the Transkai as a whole. We need more doctors. Transkai needs doctors. Transkai needs doctors. Transkai needs nurses. Transkai needs doctors. And nurses need people like you. Transkai needs you. Transkai needs you. We need you guys. The town sky needs you. Please come to us. And uh, we're looking forward to work with you. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very we much, need sister. You to help us in this place. Thank you, sister. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect fit. Perfect. Eh? Bring your stuff, James. Come. Kayak. Like a bed in the back, extra roof rack straps for some more protection safety is there. Golf stalker, bias. Compart. What are we gonna do with all of this stuff? <laughs> yes, I guess I'm kind of awfully. African ground and listen to the African sound. We could sit here all damn day and we don't mind because we're the positive kind and we're okay hey, today because hey, hey, it's a positive way. Living in this land, the most 
possibility lies. Smiling with my smiley eyes. Happiness is just a chronic state of mind. And it's at home that I'm happy I find. And we're okay today. Cause hey, it's a positive way. Positive in our way, positive about the stuff that I'm feeling today. 